And I have two signature wheels coming out. All right, here today, Hoonigan Racing, because uh, Ken's got something really cool to show all of us. It's a serious flex. <laughs> I think there's even more under here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so what's, what's going on? Well, today we're actually announcing a really big partnership that uh, we've had under wraps for a while, but we've been working on it for a while. We've partnered with Wheel Pros, and I have two signature wheels coming out, one with Rotiform and one with Fuel. So if you guys don't know, Wheel Pros is a bunch of different companies. Rotiform, um, American Racing, Dub, uh, Asante. You don't, you can't even remember more. <laughs> no, there's like, there's like <laughs> you gotta look at the list. Look at the list, we'll have so anyway, it somewhere in here. There's a lot. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, so anyway, it, it's been super rad working with them. You know, I've worked on shoe designs, I've worked on video games, I've worked on the development of the Focus RS. So it, it's been fun to be involved on all these different projects, mm -hmm. but to be able to make a wheel at this level has been really cool. So I'm really happy with the designs and we've developed two really rad wheels. And to actually outfit all these cars, they have had to make an entire sample line basically for them. I think we have 13 cars downstairs with so, all pretty much custom wheels on them. Let, let's talk about that. I don't think I've ever seen this many cars at Hoonigan Racing. This is your entire fleet. Pretty much, and there's Save even like some there's even some more next door. <laughs> and a couple more can uh, But you know, the thing so. is with the pandemic, I've only been able to do one race. Normally, a lot of these vehicles would be out you know, at demos, at trade shows. Everything's here pretty much. Yeah, you worked here for six years. Oh, I mean, that one would be on a boat. That one would be on a plane in a container. This one would be in like Barbados or something. They're <laughs> all over the place, but to see them all here is kind of wild. Let's go through each one of these and talk about the wheel and tire that's on there. And then we're gonna make you rank them in your favorite list. <laughs> of oh, course. Boy. Well, you guys gotta do it too You gotta then. pick your favorite kids. No. <laughs> all right, so start thinking about your favorite list. Put that in the comments below. All right, so Ken, how do we even start this? This is like a eeny, meeny, miny, mo situation. I mean, do you want to go by like, what's the oldest? You want to go by my favorite? Do you want to start with stock vehicles? Nobody wants to start with stock vehicles, <laughs> but even your stock vehicles ain't really stock. So. I know, they're pretty fresh. Man, I want these kind of problems. I don't know what car to start talking I don't know about. which one of my awesome <laughs> cars is <Seriously>. talking about. <laughs> so what do you want to start with? I want to start with the RS200. So in the car itself is obviously 86 Ford RS200 sitting on Toyo R888s. So this is the that, first wheel you actually designed with Rotofarm, right? Yeah. No, I love multi-spoke design. I love the venting windows type look. I, it's just a, a rad looking wheel. And we've gone with a spoke with an indentation to where we can change the color of the graphics and the logos. And it's got my number in there, but you can by color way, it and not color it. By the way, the indentation. Yeah. That dates back to the first Gymkhana film. And the reason was, was we wanted to have something on the spoke so during slow-mo you could see the wheel slow down. Yeah. Right? I think it was, it was actually Gymkhana 2 that we Was it Gym that. 2 that the first one Yeah, Gym 2. That was the white with the yellow. And now that's an official rule in Formula D. That <laughs> one spoke has to be, has to be a bright color. I didn't even know that. You're turn. welcome. So anyway, anyway, the originator of the one spoke. Man, look at the detail on the cutout around the valve stem. I mean, they just did a beautiful job with like the shape, the look, and we're able to really nail it. All right, so Ken, what's talk us through sort of the process of designing this wheel because obviously it's pandemic. You're stuck here. The Rotiform boys are in California, but you guys did this entirely, you know, virtual, so. Yep, so worked with Brian Henderson all by email, text, uh, phone calls, but mostly text. Like, he was texting me designs, and there's even an app where you can look at the wheel in all sorts of different ways, zoom in, zoom out. 
Um, they also have a, a, a program that analyzes all the strengths of the wheel and gives you a, basically a colored uh, image of the wheel with all the strengths and weaknesses of the wheel. So it was super rad. Even though we're in the middle of a pandemic, being able to work with this rad technology with really smart people on my phone, you know? I'm pretty hyped on how they look as is. And the model name is uh, KB1. So these wheels right here, Ken Signature, we're gonna do an exclusive launch. They're only gonna be available on pre-order on carcanesupply.com. All right, what, what do you wanna to go next? to next? Ron, your choice. My choice. Dealer's choice. Dude, this is, this is so hard. All right, well, we're right here at maybe my personal favorite. So Ken, this is actually the car you've owned the longest in this room. You've had wow, this since. Wow, that is true. You've had, the, you've had <laughs> that this. That is a fact I didn't even think about. That's crazy. He's had this since since the Subaru days. It's, I mean, it's just a classic rally car. It's a 78 Mark II Escort. All right, so this is the Rotiform GTB 17 by nines. Square setup, right? But the step lip makes them look like 15s, which makes it look actually which more perfect, appropriate yeah. for the car. Yeah. yeah. On the Toyos. Proxies. T1 Sport. Hit them with the facts. <laughs> Hit them with, with the facts. 17 by 9. These are probably my second favorite wheel here. Hands down, man. Look at that. Like, choosing a wheel for this car is really hard because it's one of those, like, back date but modernized type things. And Chimera himself came here. Ken worked with him on the body kit. You know what pisses me off a lot about this car? What's that? You, you love this car, right? I do. I love this car, right? Yeah. How many times have you told Ken you love this car? Uh, every time, every chance I yeah, get. Yeah, I, me too. Ken, I love this car. Have you driven this car? He knows what's coming. Have no, you driven I this haven't. Car? You know, I haven't driven this car. I haven't, Have you driven, I haven't driven this car either. I haven't driven this car either. Do you know who has driven this car? Zach. How far did he get, Ken? <laughs> Actually, Leah drove it. Yeah, but that's okay. <laughs> Look, that's, that's, that's blood. That's blood. That's blood. That's blood. Zach, not Zach's, blood. Zach's just, yeah. Zach's yeah, but not you, blood. You know, I wasn't letting them drive it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you only got to drive it on a trailer. All right, yeah, all right, we all broke right. it. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's all fair, right. that's fair. What's next? What's next is, uh, we've talked about two of the best cars in the room. Let's go to a truck. I'm digging it. This truck overall, man, the, how wide the fenders are is absurd. The well, the funny setup. thing though, is we, we've actually gone out and filmed with this truck and played with it, but this is actually the reveal of this truck. Oh, damn. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> move out of the way, move out of the way. Move out of the way, move out of the way. Oh, there you go. So SVC took it, made it wider, some new suspension. We put 40 inch open country MTs on it. More lights, brand new Borla exhaust. They put on a really beautiful exhaust for us. All right, so this is a fuel wheel and it's called the block. This is also one of your signature ones. Yep. Look at that, you peep that little 43. And I remember when 40s were like strictly for Boggers. trophy trucks. Yeah. Bog, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trophy trucks and boggers. Now it's for jumping street legal air conditioned Raptors. Jump truck. Looks good though. Looks really yeah, good. Nice I like setup. that wheel a lot. I mean, the livery too, we struggle with like, I want it to look good, but I still want to drive it on the street. So it's somewhere between like a street truck look and a actually liveried up car. Yeah, it, right, right. But it's still got the elements of this year's livery. Yeah. Flash sensitive. That's what she said. So this is flash reactive. Check it out. You take a picture. Look at that, you see that reflecting just from our angle too. Boom. It's pretty rad. Catches sunsets, catches ambient light. Looks sick. All right, what's next? Let's, let's shake it up a little bit. Instead of just saying order, let's shake it up. You wanna go to the other Raptor? We go Raptor to Raptor?
Is it the same wheel? He just wheel? saw the, yeah, he just saw that wheel, the new fuel wheel. And now you can see it not on 40s. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so for, this is, for this the is... rest of us, <laughs> this is how the wheels will look, which also look really damn good. This is for good. normal people who don't have wide body, wide body Raptors. So this is my brand new fuel wheel, but obviously on a stock Raptor, uh, wrapped in Toyo AT3s uh, in 35. I don't know what kind of flex that is. It's like he's got two Raptors and even his stock Raptors on 35s. Three Raptors. But I'm not a rapper. Yeah, that's, that's last gen though, man. <laughs> Coming at me. Good. Look at the tips of the Borla back here though. I like this. It actually sounds, they may hate this, but my kids think it sounds like a, a boat. You know, like that yeah. boats have that yeah, certain yeah, sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it's, it's chop. The water. It has that it's chop. Wa water yeah. chop. Yeah. Water yeah. chop. Water yeah. chop. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's go over to what I think is one of my favorite wheels. I love how this car looks. I feel like this is the right wheel for this car. Absolutely, man. It's got a little bit of that DTM look, a little bit of like Group A rally era look. It's just, it's super simple. Uh, to me, it's perfect. Perfect wheel. In this wheel also, in this, on this car with the R888 Toyo, just looks really strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a good square man. tire on it. This yeah. is actually an existing wheel for them, but it's a new profile. So they've added this, uh, this Rotiform Motorsport, the 43 here, which is actually etched in. It's not just a sticker. Man, I really like this dish though. It's so nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, it yeah. does, man. That's the, that's the VCEM. I love that wheel. And <laughs> the Hoonicorn. Most horsepower in the entire shop. Is there anything even close? No. <laughs> Everything? Well, 900 in the Huna truck. So most cars here would need to get on each other's shoulders to fight this in a chicken fight. <laughs> yeah. All right, so can I, can I say something? That of all the cars here, I was really stoked how the wheels looked on this and on the Kazi. This got me really excited. I felt like this really came together really well. This was the car I was most worried about. Because honestly- Oh, for sure. We liked the old wheel so much that we never changed it. It yeah. was Jim 7, we used it again uh, in Climb Kana. we just painted a different color. And I think this one was the biggest struggle and I'm actually, I'm pretty stoked on what this is. And this is kind of, this is a variation of your signature wheel as a three-piece wheel, right? Yeah, it's, it's the same as this RS200. Right, so the rotiform. The face is a similar, yeah, but it's face in a, design. Yeah, in a three-piece. But yeah, like you said, it's it's just a hard car to fit a wheel on because it's a 60s car, it's a muscle car, but we've modernized the mm -hmm. car. This car, every time we make any change, it's a big decision because, I don't know, it, it's one of my favorite things that we've ever worked on. Like as far as just pure joy of getting in and driving a car. It's I don't want to give away too much though, but we do have some more plans for this car this year. Mm. We yeah, have a V3. There, there is some, this is V2. This is, it's about to go away. It's to leaving get... here for V3 right yeah. after the shoot. Now I'm going to show you something that is going to totally blow your rocks off. Dawn of a new generation. RX-43. <laughs> One of my favorite race cars in the entire world. Where this was kind of born was with a different car called the HFHV. HFHV was a really sick project because we took the Focus WRC's two liter motor, bigger engine into a smaller chassis. Well, we wanted it to run rally cross, stage rally, and Jim Connor. A lot of seat time in this chassis for you. Most seat time out of anything here. A lot here. of love right You now. love this one, right? <laughs> yeah. So you gave it a really good wheel. because This wheel looks really good on here. The VCE-M and it's wrapped in Toyo Proxy R R R R's. R's. Oh, those are R's. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, gold handbrake. 
right? Still from the Dubai video. Oh yeah. Along with the gold oh, yeah, taping inside. Just call it hater tape. Hater tape. Hater I like tape. that. Gold <laughs> hater tape. Hater tape. Well, let's move to this thing. How far back do you have to go all the to way. get the whole thing in <laughs> frame? All the way yeah. back. The front the back view is crazy. In. I think this is where you can understand the footprint of this car because you don't normally get to see, like we don't normally show you this next to another car that's a normal size car. Look at the width of this versus that. I mean, another comparison, built in 77, built in 78. Two different continents, two different Fords. It's crazy. Anyway. But these wheels, this is a, uh, these are rad. So this is the fuel design, but with a very deep lip. I, I, I think this might be the deepest lip I've ever seen on an all wheel drive vehicle. Yo, no one knows what size your old ass iPhone is. Pull out, oh. on, pull out, <laughs> pull out a hundred dollar bill if you mean it. Yeah. I have no cash on me as always. Actually, I don't <laughs> think I have cash either. <laughs> I got no cash, I got nothing, I got nothing. You have money? Yeah, it's in the comments oh, room. Good. <laughs> And those are real beadlocks too, right? Wow. And the tire is a, a Toyo ST3. Toyo ST3. And, that's and like this is the tire truck. that it's we actually ran tire. Climb Kana and I think Jim Kana 10. And Jim Kana 10 in Texas, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a lot of Toyo ST3. Well, that's part of what makes it so hairy to drive is because there, you could see there's not a ton of weight back here, but that's a lot of tires. So you're, you have to drive full commitment with this thing. There's no half-assing or like... <laughs> Not that we would know. I mean, I'm sure he'll let no, Zach I have drive no idea, it, but... You know, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Even, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure keep it up, keep it up. I'll never let you drive <laughs> in. <laughs> All right, what's next? What's next? We got, the, uh, we got the Explorer. Honestly, this is a car that I've only wait, seen Wait, 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 real quick, real quick. F F450. Yeah, so You know what's terrifying? I heard this thing drifts. I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> I can drift it and I can tow my trailer and my sleds. And American Force sent us out these very nice wheels for it. Oh, nice. So these are also the semi fitment. It's like a custom. With Toyo, Toyo's wheel. even on this thing. They're good. The rear wheels, the rear wheels look even better on back here. Ooh, man, that's a lot of dish. All right, now we can move on. I just want to make sure the F450 got some love. I like the F450. All right, so let's talk about this. So the livery was actually first on the, the SVC Raptor, and we, I just thought it looked good on that color, so we just basically made this thing matched the SVC Raptor the way it was before. Wait, so that's, that's the same wheel that's on here. Yeah. I just realized that. Yeah. I but didn't it, look I how didn't good it looks. At all I actually think it looks better you know, on this than actually. I actually like looks, it on a real medium. It's crazy. Yeah. Like it's crazy that it sizes up really well. Yeah. You know what else? Uh, the, the, you're seeing this wheel, my new rotiform in black. All the rest of them in here are white. By the way, can I point something out? You literally only have white or black wheels. Yeah. I just noticed that. The man gets all new wheels, ordered them in two colors. Best colors. So that's the new Toyo AT3, open oh, country this is the AT3 as well. AT3. It just looks good on, this whole setup looks really good. I'm really so stoked like about it. It's like a 285, and that's a 20. Yeah, it's beefy. I really like the rigid light on like here. It's like by the way, it's super by the way, clean how it's made. By the way, driving without the box on top on the freeway, everybody just moves out of your way. Oh, because uh, they just think it's a cop car. Yeah. Oh, oh man. man, I didn't even think about yeah. that. All right, well, uh, while we're here. Uh, 
So this is actually probably the most stock vehicle you own. This is actually the most beat up vehicle in the shop right now. <laughs> but it's the most stock, but it's, it, there's a reason behind it being stock. Cause you had a lot to do with the actual stock production of this car. Years ago, I really pestered Edsel Ford that we needed an all wheel drive performance car uh, at Ford. Cause that's what I raced. So why didn't they have a performance all wheel drive focus? So I sort of bullied them into this. <laughs> um, and then I got to help develop it, which was really rad. But as you can see, here's my rotiform wheel on it. So this is another one of the KB1s. Yep. Oh, I mean, you could look. So here it is, KB1. That's a 18 on the car, 20 on the truck. Oh, you even got wheels on the Can-Am. fuel wheel, very similar design to the, the truck wheel, six spoke, beadlock. And this one's gonna come in a few different color combos because they did like bronze center, black ring, a few different combos of the true beadlock on here that you can get. When so that is this the out. block wheel as well? Yep, yeah, yeah, signature block wheel, but for UTVs. I really, really enjoy this thing. It's insane how capable they I are. I mean, to be able to go out and just drive a vehicle that drives like a rally car, right. but be able to do it right out the back door, Street legal. From the dealership. Yeah. They're For amazing. like 30 some odd grand. Yeah. yeah. They're amazing. All right. Last but not least. This is Bronco. I forget what motor is even in here. Coyote. It's Coyote motor with a Raptor trans, right? Raptor automatic transmission. And sitting on brand new American racing wheels. These are actually the same wheel on my wife's F100. Our wives have good taste. I know. <laughs> this is a good, simple, classic wheel. The Baja Fresh right there. <laughs> <laughs> the Baja. I don't think we mentioned this, but I'm sure you've heard of American racing. They're literally one of the first people to ever make an alloy wheel. And that's also another part of Wheel Pros. So like these guys literally make a ton of wheels, which is cool because we get to play with stuff like this, stuff like that. So top five? Top five, top five, top five. All right, I'll go first. Let's see, my top five. I'm gonna go with, in fifth position, SVC Raptor. In fourth position, Cosworth. Third position, RS200. Second position, Unicorn. First position, Mark II. Wow, right. Mark II over Hoonicorn. Yeah. Woo! You next? Yeah. Man, this is a really hard job. All right, fifth, it has to be the Fiesta RX43. Being around when it was built, seeing all the stuff it did, crazy capable car. Fourth, fourth, fourth. It might have to be this, the Kazi V2. I love old school rally cars. 90s cars just do it for me. 90s rally cars especially so. Third, Mark II Escort. Obviously, super clean build. Second, RS200, Unicorn first. It's just batshit crazy. It's the, the things that this car does, I've never seen any other car do. I've never seen a vehicle do the combination of craziness. The first, when you were testing you it for Pikes Peak. You realize the only Peak, reason I didn't pick that is because I knew everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to be different. I'm okay be different. being basic in this situation, yeah, Ken. All right, let me give you, you mine. Now. So I have to pick a truck in mine in my top five. I had so a truck gonna in be, I, I know, I know, I'm gonna, but I, like, there's a lot of trucks in here, but I'm not gonna go with the obvious choice. I'm gonna go with the F450. I'm into that. I mean, I could tow my trailer with it, my snowmobiles, and I can drift it. Number four for me will actually be the RX43. I, I just have so much love for this chassis. It's just one of the funnest cars to drive in the world. I can, I can put that car on the road really anywhere I want it. <laughs> Number three uh, would be the Mark II. I love the sound. I love the way the chassis feels. I love the way it handles. I wish I got to drive it more. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number two would be my favorite cars in the entire world, which is uh, the Ford RS200. 
uh, one of only 200 built, 800 horsepower streetcar. I, I just, to, if you brought this car out today, this design would still look. Good. It would still make sense. Yeah, which leaves the unicorn. Of course, so. of course. <laughs> That's why I didn't pick it, people. So here anyway, he picks the unicorn. So, so you admit it is of your number, it's the number best one. Car. It's hand down the best car here. It's one of the best cars that's ever been built. Like so obviously, obviously. So it's it your, wins. it's your car zero. Yeah, it's car zero exactly. <laughs> and one of the reasons why it's my favorite car, it's not only the looks, the horsepower, all that stuff. It's actually how it drives. It is just from the first day driving this thing, we just have it set up very soft. It's, it's fun to throw around. It just does exactly what I want. But with the 1400 horsepower, it actually kind of does what I don't want it to do sometimes, which you makes it feel like it just wants to kill me all the time. <laughs> but I kind of enjoy that part too. You know what might get me over the hump is getting to drive it. Because I can only tell from the outside. <laughs> Just saying. This is my number five car. <laughs> right, yeah, this is my number five. Yo, quick new list. I'm gonna tell you. Quick new I'm list. gonna tell you. <laughs> Leah's gonna drive this. Fuck no, you. Oh <laughs> man. Hey. I know, man. Travis I know. is trying to kind of. Yo, you wanna it. know what's crazy? Too? Comment below. Who should drive it first, Leah or Brian? The, they're trolls. <laughs> I know. I've known him longer than he's known Leah. I've been here since 2005. She's only been here since like 2007. Six. Six. <laughs> Cue the entire comment while saying, Brian, finish a car and maybe you'll be able to drive this. Uh. Man, so this has been wild. All these cars in one place and every single one of them on brand new wheels. This has been an experience, man. And it'll it probably cool never happen again. You know what? That's probably true. These, like, this car is shipping off somewhere. Yep. Right? Yeah. This car's going to Sweden? Uh, no, uh, Rally Legend. Oh, Rally Legend. Yeah. yeah. So, like, that's it. These cars are all in one place for one short period of time. All the wheels happened to show up a week ago. We got it all together. Shout out to Wheel Pros for making all this possible. You can get them at carcanesupply.com. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Get them right here, carcanesupply.com. We'll have pre-orders. Carcane. That's where it comes Literally from. Literally definition. This is kind of the definition <laughs> of what Carcane is. This is what Well, happens. there's two versions of it. There's this version and then there's is my version, which is a lot sadder. Slightly, <laughs> none of them run. Slightly more. And you have to hide them in different people's garages. But other than that. Anyway, if you want to see Ken do cool stuff in every single one of these cars throughout the year, subscribe. Check it out. Till next time.